Hi everybody, it's Danielle with Inspire Me to DIY. It, it is a hot mess express in here today. I mean, it's, y'all, it just is. It's spring, and with spring comes migraine season, so that's where we are. I'm heavily medicated and very caffeinated, so hopefully this goes really well, we'll see. Normally I do a project first before I put it on screen to work the bugs out, but I didn't do that today. So, hey, we're just going to fly with it. Let me take a drink. Mm. I got this sweet little church birdhouse. If you see my other two birdhouses here, I got them at Michael's. $5.95 or something a piece. Same with this, but it was 20% off. So, no brainer. So cute. And I bought... The cutest little bird to go with it. He was also 20% off. Isn't he sweet? And I'm going to hot glue him right here when we're all done. I just think he's going to be so cute. Now, I bought chalk paint for this, and I'm pretty new to chalk paint. So let me show you what I got. I picked all the, the colors of nature, I think. This one... Let me put my glasses on. This one is celery, and they're all Waverly paints. It'll say on the on the top. It'll say on the top. But see how they're all different. I this one is malachite, which I doubt I'm going to use because it's really dark. But this is agave. I kind of like how it goes with the the celery. I also got this sweet little pink. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but who knows? I just think it's adorable. And then I have, oh, this one's scary. Don't use this one. I have ivory. Now, let me tell you why. I think this one is scary because it looks like white. And you think it's white. And I didn't read the top, and it's clear. So this is what you use over the top of your paints after they dry. It is the, it seals and protects chalk paint. So do not mistake this for white Trust me, I know. Yeah, I had to I had to scrape up all the paint off a project, sand it, and start over because you can, you don't want to paint over this because it's it's really waxy. I have no idea how I'm going to start, so let's just pour some of my paints out. This is my moss. I really love this color. Look at that, y'all. It's it's more like a Maybe an avocado-ish color. So I'm going to put a little of that on my plate. And chalk paint is so different from regular paints. It just behaves differently. So it's a learning curve. You and I are going to learn this together. This is my celery. And if you saw my previous post with the picture frames I painted and then put... Uh, free printables in. There's one right there. That one there is with the agave. So the, the little darker. I also have a lighter one that I did in the celery. And it's somewhere. It's somewhere here. So <laughs> I really enjoyed using this paint because it covers so well. But this is raw wood. So we'll see. No clue. A lot of times I'll paint my raw wood white, just paint the whole thing white, and then um, it kind of seals it before you put the paint on. But I didn't do that this time. So I'm going to start. Let me back up. I also bought for this project these cute little sunflower stickers. I got that at Michael's, and I got this one at Michael's. This was the inspiration for my paint colors. I just love those. So I think I'm going to do the, um, what's, what do you need, Carl Dog? I think I'm going to do the um, body of or this uh, birdhouse itself, the church, in the, the lighter celery. And then I'm going to do the cell roof in the darker, the um, moss. Like I said, I am heavily medicated with migraine meds, so... Y'all, we'll see if, see how this goes. Oh, 
Look at, hold on. Look at this color. I love it. I really like um, wood that is like painted and 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 chippy they they call it but i'm not good at actually painting it like this but i'm like that but i think if i do one coat it will kind of mimic that because it's raw wood and it's sucking up the paint so it's not going to be like a complete coat you see where it's like sucking it in already so it'll kind of look like it's half painted or like it's old and chippy i'm hoping i think that'll work out good carl Carl Doug, what do you want? He doesn't know. Defer in a post, poor baby. Carl's getting up there in age. He is 12, I think. And for a large dog, that is pretty old. What do you think? Yeah? I like that. I like that a lot. Let's, let's keep going with it. Nice thing about the steeple is it's actually... Blah, blah, a handle. I think Carl has to go out one moment. Carl, you're supposed to go potty before we leave. There you go. Okay. Life. It's all life, all time. Uh-oh, so I just stuck my paintbrush in this darker color. You know, I like it mixed with this. Let's Let's see. Can I do some streaking? Oh, I can. Maybe I was supposed to do that. Let's see. Can you see that? It's kind of hard, but it's got a little bit of that blue in there. I like it. Happy accident. Carl's got all the dogs in the neighborhood barking now. What a dork. I'm sure the neighbors are going to love that. <laughs> now some of this wood is uh, like a rough cut and I probably should have sanded it first but it, it kind of gives it more of a rustic finish and this would be so cute for Easter because it's a little church it'd be really adorable for all your spring and I'm going to put it with my other two birdhouses and make it like a, a little trio trio of birdhouses In design and decorating, things in odd numbers are preferred over things that are very symmetrical. And doing things in threes, fives, and sevens is more pleasing to the eye than just something that's completely symmetrical. I just got paint where I shouldn't have. So I think having a trio of birdhouses is going to be so cute. And I might even put them outside once I coat them, but I don't think, I'll put them outside into my lanai where it's protected. Who knows, maybe a little lizard will come in here and enjoy my birdhouse. I'm gonna add a little bit of that blue that I mistakenly did earlier and just do some streaking. It's kinda hard to show while I'm doing it. One thing I wish I had was some sphagnum moss because I think that would look really cute glued like right in here so it comes out a little bit like a nest. That would be so cute. Okay, so here it is with the, a little bit of blue on there. I'm hoping when it dries it's not so noticeable. If it is, I'll put more of the green on the top. We'll see. This paint does dry a little darker than when it's wet. So just if you see a color and you really love it but it's dark in the bottle it's going to be super dark on your project that's why i like this celery because in the bottle look how light it is so when it dries it is just a shade darker than that which is kind of perfect where i want it did you guys get to see my wallpaper project that i did in the kitchen it turned out so darn cute. I really love it. The um, paper I got was on Amazon, and I did post a link in my blog for it if you're interested in that particular pattern. But 
It looks so great with the black wall that I painted in the um, breakfast nook. But I didn't order enough, which was a problem. It has, if, you, if you've ever done wallpaper, you know there's a repeat, so where you have to match the two sides together when you go to the, the next section of wallpaper. And the repeat was so large that I had a lot of waste that I had to, when I got up to the next part to match it, all this up here was wasted. It just didn't go anywhere else. So that's why I didn't have enough. Be careful when you order wallpaper because it'll say how many square feet it does. And that would have been perfect, what I bought. But since the repeat was so large, I wasted a lot of paper. But I am, trust me, I am gonna use that paper on other things. But I ordered more, and unfortunately, it's not coming in till Tuesday. So hopefully I can finish my project and post a picture of the whole thing. So here we are. I don't like that so much. I like it blended more here. So let's, let's blend that blue. It's just a little too in your face. Which a lot of people, I mean, they really love that. And... It's just, this is not my, my taste. So I'm just going over a little bit. Oh, way better. <laughs> my doors are swinging. And there's the other side. So we have the three sides. So this project goes pretty fast. But it, with the um, raw wood, it is sucking up the paint. So I gotta put a little more of my celery on here. I did get my um, chalk paint at Walmart. And it's the only place where I've seen them have it in the little bottles. You can get the big bottles just about anywhere, but Walmart had the little bottles, which, bonus. Probably should have painted the front first because that's where I'm gonna hot glue all my stuff. My, well, my bird. I'm, I am gonna um, put my flower stickers on too, so we'll see how that goes. Gotta be real careful painting around the the little hinges. So darn cute. I could not believe that it was the same price as the other birdhouses because it's got a lot more to it. It's got a little steeple, it's got a little swinging door. So I thought it would be more money, but it was not. And 20% off, miracle. When I do my projects on Saturday, sometimes I don't know what I'm doing until Friday night. And um, so I'm walking through the, the aisles of, of Michael's just thinking, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And this little birdhouse just basically jumped right out at me. It's like, how perfect is this for spring as well as for Easter? And you can decorate it just any color. I'm going to paint the inside of my circle. If I was to buy the, the wood and make one of these, oh my gosh, $15 at least. So finding this for $5.90, I think it was $5.95 before the discount. It's like, yeah. All right. Now I think this would, this would be adorable as um, decoupage also like those two. Let me pull one up. Ugh. This one here, whoops, is decoupage. I don't know if you saw the video, but it's with napkins. Look at that. Is that gorgeous? And I put a little moss on the roof. It was one of those sheet moss, and it's sticky on the back, so I didn't even have to glue it. And then I added dark wax to, you can see it there, to the base and to the little um, bird perch. I love dark wax just because it kind of finishes it off. It almost looks like a stain, but it's so pretty. And dark wax comes in a tin like um, shoe polish would. And I, when I bought it, I got it at, at Walmart. Well, Walmart doesn't carry it anymore. So then I added a link from Amazon because Amazon had it. And now they don't carry it anymore, so I'm not sure. It was a product from Kills. It was called Dark Wax. They also had a Clear Wax, but for some reason they're not carrying it anymore, so I'm not sure. Maybe I'll have to go to the whole shoe polish route. 
It's not a bad idea, actually. Okay, so you got to hold your mouth just <laughs> right and put your glasses on when you're doing up close work. Let's see. Going around these hinges, I just don't want to get paint on the hinges. So doing my wallpaper project in my kitchen, you know how one project starts with a different, it goes to a different project and then before you know it, you got the whole house tore up. Well, that was kind of the thing. Once I put the wallpaper up and it was bright white, it has a bright white background. Well, my trim looked dingy. So then I went around and painted all of the, the baseboards and I don't have crown molding, which I wish I did, but I had to paint all the baseboards in the room. Well, that room is our family room and that the family room, the kitchen, and the whole living area and the dining room, all is kind of like one big room. So there you go. So then I had to do the trim for all of it. So that was kind of that was kind of my weekend last week. Now I'm hoping when this wallpaper comes in Tuesday, I'll be able to put it up right away. What I have up now is is most of it. All of the um, intricate cutting and all that is done. And it took me basically an hour and a half to do all of that. Not bad at all. And I really enjoyed it. It's peel and stick wallpaper. My mom used to wallpaper and paint homes for people. She was kind of an interior decorator also, which maybe that's why I like to do this so much. But um, it was all the old style wallpaper that you had to you had to get the ta a special table, and she had one that folded up, but you had to get that out and paste and big hot mess. It was just a lot of mess to, to wallpaper, and it's not like that at all anymore. This was all peel and stick, but unlike contact paper, you could reposition it. You could pull it back off and get it just right, which, of course, I had to do a lot but way, way better than the wallpapering I remember. Come on, door, stay open so I can pay your little edge. Do it. All right. And I'm using all the same color right now because I think I'm gonna do embellishments in my other colors. What do you think about the steeple? Should I do it all different color or should I do it the same color as the body? I'm not quite, quite sure about that. What do you think? I might do that in that, that bluer color. Let me show you. That the bluer, I think. That darker green, I want to do the roof. So let's let me finish here. I gotta do my doors. Doing the doors. And I probably should paint the inside because I kind of want them open. Because I'm gonna put a little a little something something in there, a little vignette. I'm not quite sure the door won't stay open. Not quite sure exactly what, but I'm gonna do a little something in there. Maybe I bought some bird houses, bird houses, birds nests, because I'm going to use them for my Easter table scape that I'm doing. And oh I can't wait to show you that. It is so beautiful. Every year I do it different because I want my guests to be surprised and have such a pleasant experience while they're having their Easter dinner. But I'm thinking birdhouses, I got little birds, and then their name is going to be on a, like a ribbon going across the, the little bird nest. It's just gonna be adorable. I love, I love doing things, changing it up every year. All right, so I'm going to let that dry. And I think I'll do the roof because I still have to use this as a handle. Let me um, clean off my brush here. I have a, just a glass of water that I use to clean my brush. And these brushes, I got a whole set of these. They're, they're fairly cheap brushes. This is a, a number 10 flat or sometimes they call it a filbert. 
filbert usually has a round edge on it, but um, this, this is probably more of a flat than a filbert. A filbert has, like at the tip here, would have a rounded edge like that, but it's flat across. I also have my round eight, which this was a set, was much more expensive, but this was my cheap set. So I kind of like to use it for just about everything because I don't care. I mean, I care, but I don't care a whole lot if I screw it up. All right, coffee break. Oh. One thing about migraines is they say caffeine is good for it. Bonus, because you know I like my coffee. Oh, this is the moss. <laughs> oh, I like how those two go together. I do a lot. I was so enjoying picking out the paint for this. It just, I love the botanicals. I love everything kind of earthy, um, kind of organic. Nice, nice. And it looks a little flat right now, but we are going to spruce this puppy up. Gonna spruce it up. That's my singing voice for today. We are going to go to karaoke tonight. So, yeah. Oh, I'm fabulous. I got my three minutes of fame up there just like everybody else. It's wonderful. And thank goodness nobody has to pay to sing because, or pay to hear me sing because nobody's going to want to do that. Nope. I'm, I've am i got one of those voices that's amazing in the choir. Solo? Not so much. Okay. I hmm. You can still see a little bit of that blue that's mixed in there. I like that. Blue would be nice. Hi, Wendy. How's it going, girl? Lorraine, how's it going? Hi, Kelly. All of a sudden, boom, I'm getting, I'm getting my comments. I did not have them before. I was sitting here all alone. But I hear that's been a thing with Facebook. They, it's been a little glitchy. I don't know. Maybe it's the Ides of March, huh? I can't believe that Friday, this coming Friday, is April. I, how do you slow time down? It's just, ugh. All right, just doing, I got a lot of little extra painting with the roof because you got to get up underneath. So let's see if I can do that. I'm pulling it away from my face so I don't have to wear the glasses so much. These glasses are great, but they still distort. I don't know if you have all seen, there's a commercial now that talks about eye drops for people that can't see up close, age related, which is what I got. Would that be amazing if, if those eye drops worked? But since they're new, they're probably $50,000 for a bottle. Something ridiculous. But I would, if, if they work and they've been tested enough, oh, heck yeah, sign me up. I would love that so much to not have to wear cheaters. I don't even have to wear my glasses for distance anymore. And that used to be my problem. But I can drive and everything with, I can see just fine. It's just up close. Okay. Didn't get too much paint on me. What do you think? All right. Might have to put more paint on my um, plate though. Because it's not, I'm using it up pretty quickly. Nice. Maybe if I do a little dry brushing and show a little bit more of the wood. Uh, I don't know, I love this. I love these colors. I'm so glad I picked them out. All right. Using up the last that I had on my plate, so let's get a little moss out. So how's the weather in the north? In the north, it sounds like 
I'm talking about Canada. Did you, are you guys having a good day today, weather-wise, or is it still really cold? I don't know. Do you know what else would, oh, I, you know, this is my mind today. The, um, these three birdhouses would look so cute in the center of my table for Easter. I didn't even think about it. <gasps> snow. Today, in March, the end of March, you got snow? No. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. We used to love snow in December, but you never had a white Christmas. It was always January, February. Snow in the end of March. Sad. Usually it's pretty rainy right now, isn't it? Ugh. Nope. It, it, here, it is the high is, I think, 74. And the low is in the high 50s at night. No humidity. It is glorious. And it will be till like the second week of May. And then we get the heat and humidity. But I don't mind it. I actually enjoy it. Way more than I would enjoy the snow. Okay. Gotta hold your mouth just right for this. You know, and even if I mess it up a little bit, it's supposed to look a little woodsy. So I think it's okay. Oh. I didn't think these two greens would offset so much, but they do. I don't know if I'm going to paint up under here or not. You're not really going to see it, so I might not. We'll see. Now, now comes the fun part. I'm going to do, I'm going to do the steeple. Oh, you have rain too? Oh, jeez. Snow and rain. That's a sloppy mess. I think I'm going to do the um, steeple. Somebody, somebody said blue would be nice. Wendy did. You should, were you talking about the steeple? When you said blue would be nice or the whole birdhouse, because I'm thinking blue would be pretty cool on that steeple. And I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to use my round eight just because I'm working on a smaller area. And I can't use the steeple as a handle anymore. Yes, okay, so let's try. This blue is the agave. So... Let's try it. Oh. <laughs> Everything, all of these paints have like a little gray undertone, so they go well together. If you decide you're going to pick different colors, look at that. Oh, I love it, Wendy. That was a great idea. All right. Um, if you pick different colors for a project, make sure they have the same base or undertones because then they'll go really well together. If you pick an orange, say it's really red, but then you pick, uh, well, I don't know if orange is a good idea, a good example. Since these all have gray undertones, they work good together. If you pick something that has more of a bluish undertone, even this blue is more gray as the base. But you can, um, it, they'll go together much better. Unless it's something really, really bold and colorful that you don't mind them clashing. But even, you know how there's jewel tones and then there's pastels? Those all basically have a same type of undertone to them. So mixing pastels together would be great. Jewel tones, that would give it the bright boldness. I took our museum in Toledo has classes for adults and I thoroughly suggest if that's something you're into, do it. I took a number of classes there and had the time of my life. You're there with a whole bunch of people you've never met before and you're all working on the same 
skills, you might not be all doing the same thing. I took drawing, I took color history, not color history, color, it's not history, I can't think of the word of it, but it's theory. So all the things with um, how color plays with different things, that to me was super interesting. But they also have stuff like glass blowing. Really, really wish I would have taken that, but I knew that wasn't something I could practice at home. So I didn't, and they're, they're super expensive, those particular ones. My painting and drawing class was like, it was like close to $300, but it was for 12 weeks. That, I learned so much in that class and you get all the supplies and everything you ever need, and you're taught by an actual professor of art, which, how cool is that? There's nothing worse than buying art lessons and then they're taught by something who has no idea what they're doing. That, that's kind of disappointing. Well, since I did that in the blue, I think the little square around it I'm going to try it in that malachite. I don't even have malachite on my plate. It's right there. So it's even darker. I'm going to wash this brush out, and I think I'm going to use an even smaller brush. I like mason jars for different things, and this one is awesome for holding my brushes, scissors, pencils. Whatever I use the most kind of goes in this jar. And I'm not going to pour any of this malachite out because I need such a small amount. I don't want to waste a bunch of paint. Ah, I have no place to hold on to it. Oh, the base. Okay, so let's see. i got to steady it on the table. Hmm. Wow. Wow. That's a little darker green, or brighter green than I wanted. Let's do the whole thing, and if I don't like it, I'll do another color over the top and maybe blend them. The thing about color is people get really nervous painting and mixing colors and doing stuff with color when, for the most part, if you don't like it, you can, especially on wood, you can sand it off and start over. Now on paper like watercolors. Watercolors is not very forgiving, but it's my favorite medium. Oil paints, you can always uh, let it dry completely and paint totally over it, and it works just fine. Acrylic is pretty much the same way. Acrylic dries faster than oils, so that's kind of the difference with those. And oils, you can blend colors together a little easier. Watercolors, you can't, they, they don't play nice with anything else. So it's kind of, it is what it is with watercolor. But still, you shouldn't be afraid to use different colors. For watercolor, I have a piece of watercolor paper and I put blotches of every single color on my palette on that so I see what it's actually going to look like. And it's so much easier to then paint, create your palette with the colors that you want. I have to see what I missed here. Ah. All right. You know, it's kind of growing on me. Still not sure. Let me show you. What do you think? He got glass blowing classes for Christmas. Oh, amazing. If they let you go like towards the end, if they let you go and videotape it, that would be amazing. Their glass studio is just off the chain. Oops, wrong color. Look at me. Their glass blowing, um, they have a whole glass pavilion. Anybody that's not familiar, familiar with the Toledo Museum of Art, they have a whole building that's just glass blowing. And they have a, an arena that you can go and sit and watch. Just people off the street, cost nothing. It's amazing. I used to go there at, just to watch the glass blowing, just to hang out.
for a couple hours. The Toledo Museum of Art is one of my most happiest places in the world because it has crazy art that you would not expect for a smaller city like Toledo. I mean, they've got Rembrandts, they have Picassos. It's, it's just out of this world for me. It's my happy place. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry just to see what colors we come up with. I'm not really sold on it with the rest of it, but we'll try. All right, so I'm not gonna paint the base yet. I'm gonna have everything done and then when, once everything's dry, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to blend some of my colors just to see what we get. All right. Now I have a lot of water in this brush because it's been sitting in water, but that's okay because if you get something that has a lot of water in it, it blends easier. Now I'm just going to try some stuff. <laughs> All right. That's already got the blue. That's got the blue. Ugh. The front does not have blue on it. And I'm just going to like do some long strokes on there. You guys, you have no idea. This is amazing. Going to get a little bit more water. This, it, oh, yep. Yes. Hold on. Shut the door. Shut the front door. Okay. Oof. Look at that blue on the front. I don't know if, if you, yeah, you can see it. I love that with the water on it. I should have done that back here where it's kind of blotchy. See if I can fix that. Just by experimenting with different things, you can come up with so many variations. And the more you do something, the better you get, the more comfortable you get. See how that is? I kind of like that better and it, it makes the blue steeple kind of blend a little bit better. Still not completely sold on that steeple. Oops. Okay, well, I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, here, hold on. Let me show you. What do you think? I kind of mixed the green in with that. It might work. It might work. But once it, you won't know with this paint until it completely dries. Then you're like, oh, yeah, or oh, no. And you can always paint over it. So while that's drying, I wish I would have put my fan out here. But while that's drying, let's see. 35 minutes in, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm going to get my paint out of the way because I want to put my flowers on. Look at that. Can't see. Look at that with this. I love that. I'm thinking about putting a couple of flowers maybe on one side and then drawing stems or something. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Or maybe just decorating hodgepodge all over with the flowers. Love it. I'm going to start on the side because this side is, is pretty dry. Not a problem. And I'm going to hot glue. Got my hot glue all oh, plugged in and ready to go. Of course, the cord is everywhere. Here's my, I have a Sure Bonder hot glue gun. I really like it. Um, got it at I think Walmart, but they sell them online too. Amazon has them. So I'm going to pull off one of my flowers. These are not stickers. They're just flowers. I got these at Michael's. 20% off. So I'm going to put a little glue on that and stick it on. I love these because the centers of them, wow, I'm shaking. The centers of them are beads, little, little tiny seed beads. And I love how they ombre to the darker, to the dark side. All right. Uh-oh. Uh Don't tear the petals off. <laughs> okay, put that on there. I don't think I'm going to use the sunflowers. I really like how these look instead. I like the color with them. And I'm just going to hodgepodge it on there. Oh. 
we say, oh, I love it. I do love that. Maybe I'll do it all the way around. I don't think I have enough flowers for it all the way around, but I'm not sure about these. What do you think? Are they too bright? Because hmm. if I mix them in, I'll put one there. Nah, no. I don't like it, but I might put them up on the front a little bit. We'll see. Let's just put a couple more of these across the back. I'm going to tip it like this so you can see it. And this is still a little wet, so hopefully, hopefully these stick. I should kind of figure out how I'm going to do it first. What do you think? Kind of like that. Maybe one more. Maybe one more here. Hmm. I don't want them too symmetrical. Maybe three. It's, I tend to get them more symmetrical when I put an even number on, and I, I just want them to look like they're just growing haphazardly. Sweet. I think I might just use dark wax on the bottom so it matches this guy. Still, this is my favorite. Okay. Oh, sweet. So I do have four there, so maybe I'll do a couple here and then do the, some on the front. Uh, yeah, I should, have, should not have done the four on the other side. I like the three much better, but this way they don't all match. And... Ugh, I'm such an organized, everything has to be just so person, as my husband, he'll tell you. So it's really hard for me to not be so symmetrical. Okay, I only have two flowers left, so. But I think with the bird on the front, don't need a whole lot. Let me see, if I put my bird here, and do this, and do that, no. Oops, I gotta turn him so his little head is out. Maybe. Let's try it there and there. I should have got another package of these, but I kind of like them. Like that. And I'm gonna put a big old glob on my bird and set him on there. Him, I, I might have to hold for a, a minute. Maybe not because of the styrofoam. It melted it a little bit. All right. Oh, guys, look at this. Oh, I love him. I love this a lot. Some white over the green on the steeple. Let's try that. Make sure I get the white and not... I have white and I have ivory. What do you think? Would ivory be a little more subtle. I'm going to try it. Let's just see. Oh, I've not opened it yet, so. Kind of like, it's more subtle. Ivory. Yeah, I'm thinking that too. All right, so I'm going to get a smaller brush because my other smaller brush is in the water. Glasses, where are you? Oh, and I got one more detail that we can put on there. I got these stickers. They're words. But I'll, I'll show you here in a minute. Oh, you know what? If I just kind of dry brush it rather than coat it completely, Gives it a little more lighter green. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? It's still, it needs a little more. When I see it on the camera, it's like, yeah, that needs more. Oh. I'm just going to go over the whole thing. Because it's really blending with the green and making it lighter. 
It's a great idea, Wendy. Okay. Let me get up underneath here. And I'm just kind of like slapping it on. You don't want it to look too precise. These are the colors of my living room. So I think this is going to go really great in my house. What do you think? That's a lot better, but we're still not there yet. I think it's going to need a few more coats on the green. But I like that idea. And I might just go over the whole thing in the green moss, which is this color, and then do the, the white over the, or the ivory over the top of that. Because this is just making it a lighter of that same green. And that green does not, it's more bluish than it is gray. In the bottle, it looked like it would go perfect, but it just did not. The beauty of doing something live, right? Okay. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit, but I got, I got these stickers at Hobby Lobby and they're, I know they're backwards, but they're all, um, like Bible verses and inspirational stuff. I'm trying to keep it away from the ring light. But what I love about this is they do not have a white background. They're clear. Isn't that awesome? So when you put it on your project, you're just going to see the words. You're not going to see the whole white background and all that, which I was really thrilled to get this. So be joyful in hope. That's a great spring thing. Yeah, I love these, Wendy. I'm not sure how much you paid for them. I think they're, oh, wait a minute, $2.99. But they were having a 40% off sale on all of their, what is it called, paper studio? The paper studio. So I got them for 40% off, so... Cheap, cheap. Um, I'm thinking of be joyful in hope, walk in faith, blessed be the Lord, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Let's see, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. And then there's faith, love, and hope, which is amazing. I think I'm going to do faith, love, and hope because it's kind of a spring thing and I'm gonna do it maybe I think I'm gonna do it on the back around the flowers let's just see I wish that I could flip the camera around so the words wouldn't be up or backwards but I am not able to do that yet okay don't give me problems on live video. You are though, aren't you? Booger. You a booger? It's like separating those um, napkins for hodgepodge. Ha yeah, hodgepodge. That was... I had to do that off camera because I just couldn't get it. Just like this, I cannot get it. Hmm. It's really stuck on there. There we go. I don't want to stretch it. There we go. I'm hoping this is not a one and done where you only have one choice chance to get it right. Mm. Let's put it here. Oh, I'm going to have to maybe trim just the two ends because it goes off the edge a little bit. Stop it. Oh, look. Look, look, look. What do you think? I know you can see it's shiny where the sticker is. I'm kind of like showing you the, but out of the light, that is so cute. I want to do one on the roof though. This is the drier side. So let's do, and I want to do one that's pretty good size. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, I think would be a good one. They had all different kinds of sayings, but I really like Bible verses and inspirational quotes in my house. 
especially when I'm going through kind of a rough time. It's nice to have those reminders all over. And it could be something that you look at every day, but then all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Oh, I love this. Come on, stick down. Stick down. Okay. Oops. What do you think? <gasps> yes. What is, is this not the cutest little birdhouse you ever saw? Once the paint dries, it'll look even cuter. And we'll fix the top. Once I get it all fixed, I'll post pictures of it. And I'm going to put the uh, little tutorial on it on my blog. So I think it would, it turned out great. Hey, Lisa, how's it going? Yay, I hear it's snowing or it's cold where you are, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's a beautiful day here. Tomorrow they're having the air show at the McDill Air Force, and we're going to go to that. I'm super excited. I have not seen the Blue Angels are going to be there. If you know anything about air shows, I haven't seen one since I was a little girl, so I'm pretty excited to see that. Thank you, Suzanne. I think it's turned out so cute. I love the flowers. And you know, this is something very, very cold. Uh, I'm sorry. This is something I would definitely give to a hostess, a hostess gift, once I get it fixed. I'm really not liking that green at the top. Ugh, I'll fix that. I would, I would definitely give this as a hostess gift, and it might be something that I glue a pedestal to. Let me show you. Like this one here, it already has a a plate glued to it, but if it didn't have the plate and just glue the birdhouse on the pedestal, pretend this isn't here, that would be adorable. And that way you could have three together, but they would be all different heights, which is kind of what you want. It's real pleasing to the eye that way. Let's see, if I put this guy here, and then maybe having a shorter pedestal like here and then having this one just on the on the um, on the surface like that. Let me flip the camera a little bit so you can see. Oh. All right, so it's more level. So it would be like that, like this. Well, maybe you still can't see. I think even though they're totally different, I think they play well together. All the different colors and the fact that they're all birdhouses. These these other two guys don't need birds. I need to get more birds. Note to self, get more birds. So if you like this project, if you had fun with me today because I had a blast, I love doing this stuff and I love hanging out with the girls because I don't get to do that a whole lot. Um, hit my little follow at the top if you want to see more of my videos. If um, you want to see more of what I do, go to Inspire Me, the number two, DIY.com, and you will see my blog. I also have a t shirt shop, Inspire Me Fabulous, which I do have one Easter shirt out there now, but I have some really cute designs. My husband wears most of them, he, the guy ones. He loves the ones with just the words on it. I have one that says, BRB, Jesus, be right back. Any day now, let's, let's hope, let's keep our fingers crossed. So thank you very much. Enjoy your Saturday. And I'm going to post pictures of that air show tomorrow. I hope you enjoy them. Love you guys. Bye.